Hello everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to a brand new video today. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos. I hope that you are all feeling fantastic and having an awesome day. Today, I bring you a where to put your skill points in my player career mode for FIFA 23 as a striker. We did this in FIFA 22, and lots of you lovely people left me some really nice comments on that video. So I thought, why not bring it back for FIFA 23, as there has been some changes to the mode this year. Before we get started, I am looking to do this for more positions. So if you have any other positions that you would like to see, sort of a build guide, if you will, on, leave me a comment down below with a position you'd like to see next, and I'll try to get around to creating the video. Also, we are not playing as a striker in this year's My Player Career Mode on the channel, but if you do want to check out My Player Career Mode, top right-hand side of the video, little eye button, it'll take you to the playlist. We are playing as a right midfielder, and right now, we're with Villarreal in Spain. So if you're interested, check that out, take you to the series, and you can catch up. But without further ado, let's get started on this video on where to put your skill points as a striker in My Player Career Mode for FIFA 23. So let's start by showing you then how your player's overall is affected. Starting with something new to this year's game, the personality overview or the personality area. You can gain personality points from training, from playing matches, from making decisions. All of that can be gained through those three things. And if we take a look at this in more detail, you'll see there we are tier two with 35 personality, sorry, 35,000 personality points. This is the same my player save that I used for the how quickly can we reach 90 overall video that I made. So that's why we have 35,000 personality points at the moment. When you have less than 10,000, you get a plus one attribute boost. At 10,000, it goes up to plus three. And then at 75,000, you gain a plus five attribute boost. And this does impact your players overall. When you're more dominant into one area, it then boosts attributes. As you see, this is the following attributes that can be boosted. So from the Maverick area, you can get penalties, free kick accuracy, dribbling, ball control, acceleration, sprint speed, and finishing. From the heartbeat, it's volleys, vision, reactions, attack position, short passing, crossing, and long shots. And Virtuoso is stamina, composure, agility, balance, heading accuracy, strength, and shot power. So all of these are affecting your players overall. And whatever area you're more dominant in will be the ones that get boosted. So uh, keep that in mind. So that's how ours currently stands. The second way outside the skill tree that your player can be boosted is by your player's height and weight. As you see, I've gone 5'11 and 176 pounds. If I move my height down to the smallest that my player can be, which is 5'3, you'll notice physicals go down, but pace goes up. If I do it to the tallest I can be, which is six foot seven, my physicals go up, but my pace goes down, and that affects my overall as I go from 71 to 69. Again, I'm going to put this back to five foot 11, and if I do the same with the weight, you'll probably see the attributes are changed. It might not affect our overall just yet, but there is a possibility that it can do, so keep that in mind. 99 pounds there, and switch to the heaviest that we can weigh. As you can see, it does affect our physical and our pace. But we'll keep it at 176, which is pretty much down the middle. Um, you can change this to whatever you want. But bear in mind, that will change your pros overall. So it might not work with the 96 rated build that I've got and the 91 rated build that I've got to show you later on today. Exactly the same. Um, unless, you know, your height and weight are really the exact same as mine. Still might work, but that's maybe why if it doesn't quite work as well for you. Regardless, that is that to talk about. And before we jump into the skill tree and show you exactly how each area affects our overall, one more thing to mention, the level cap this year. We've gone to level 40. Last year it was 25. This year the max level is level 40, as you can see, top right-hand side of the screen. So we've got 99 plus skill points available to us. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is show you how each area of the skill tree affects our overall, starting with physicals. And that is the physicals maxed out. As I back out here, you can see we go from 71 to 74. So that is a plus three overall boost just from the physical skill tree. If I take these points back and then back out again, 
you'll see we're down to 71. I'll be doing this for each of the areas. So I'll only show you once I've maxed them out to save me having to put the points in because it does take a little bit of time. Defending is becoming more important in the modern game as a striker. But when we put our skill points into it here and then back out, we do not gain a single overall point. So not important for your players overall is defending. Next up is dribbling and you'll see this is a huge boost to overall. Plus nine up to 80 rated. So dribbling important on your striker. Now for passing and we've maxed it out here. You'll see there's a plus one overall boost to 72 so not major, but a little boost from the passing. No surprise here, but the shooting skill tree is the most important and it boosts us by 11 overall points once we max that out. So yeah, that's not really surprising. Back out, take the points away, back to 71. And I'll show you very quickly the pace as well. Uh, I will not be going into the goalkeeper one for the reason that we are not a goalkeeper, so we don't need it as we are a striker. Once we do pace, this one doesn't affect as much as I first thought. So as I back out here, you'll see we do go to 72 overall, but I thought we might go higher just from the pace. But anyway, there it is. So as you see, with how the each area of the skill tree affects overall, shooting is the biggest, dribbling the second most, then physical, then it's pace and passing. Defending has no change. So keep that in mind when allocating your skill points. But let's get on with the two builds that I have for you today then. The first one is a 96 rated striker. And then the second one is the build that I would use if I was playing as a striker in this year's My Player Career Mode. So we start with the 96 rated build. And here it is then, as you see on your screen, 88 physical, 35 defending, 97 dribbling, 50 passing, 97 shooting and 94 pace. 23 out of 23 unlocked in the physicals, 25 out of 26 unlocked in dribbling. 31 out of 44 in shooting and 8 out of 8 into pace. We will, however, look in more detail at each skill tree. If you want to copy it, here you go. Maxed out on the left, maxed out on the right in the physicals. So absolutely everything we can buy in the physical area we have done with our skill points. So that is pretty much what you need to do in the physicals. Defending, um, you see no points in there. Dribbling one, this is an area which I will talk about in more detail in the 91 rated build. The main reason for that is because this one right here, the attack positioning, selecting this trait will increase your player's offensive awareness when you are not controlling your virtual pro. I only play controlling my virtual pro, so this isn't necessary for me to have unless I'm going for overall, which it is necessary to be able to get overall. So that's the reason why you have to go into the attack position, even if... You only control your player when you're playing the game. You need this to get the overall points. On the flip side, there's two in this side, so four in total here, which don't really affect you, but this one has balance and agility built into it. So these ones I do still use, I believe, in the 91 rated build um, later on in the video. I don't go for skill moves either for this one. It's preference, it doesn't affect overall, which is why I've not gone into it here. You might want to use it yourself so you can change around some of these things and maybe still get 96, even potentially 97, and then get enough points to be able to buy this skill move. But personally, I don't really do skills, so hence why I've left it out here, saving me some points to be able to put into other areas. As for the passing, zero. So just to quickly run through, maxed out physicals, nearly maxed out dribbling, aside from just the skill move one, not into passing, and now for shooting, which is where, as you can see, lots and lots on the right, a lot missing on the left. So, free kick accuracy. Had to go into this in order to get this one, which is for shot power, which takes us to 99 shot power. And that is the reason why I had to go here. Otherwise, you would not need to go into free kick accuracy. As for this one here, I've gone away from the archetype, the sniper one. We don't need it. We don't need the penalties here either, but we do need the heading accuracy. So that is maxed out at 98. And uh, shot power here as well, avoiding that penalties. Because again, not necessary for overalls. I don't believe anyway. It hasn't changed it whenever I've used the penalties. So there you go. On the right-hand side, everything aside from this one finishing here, the weak foot. Because with our finishing already being 99, we gain no extra boost from having this unlocked. We can't go any higher, um, so 99 is the max, hence why I don't need it. We've already achieved it through what we've put our skill points in and the personality area as well, so we do not need this finishing one. 
which overall gives us a 99 finishing, 73 free kick accuracy, 98 heading, 99 shot power, 96 long shots, 99 volleys, and 75 penalties. The pace, one in every single available area. And goalkeeping, none at all. So that is how I managed to achieve 96 rating. I will quickly run through this. If you want to check it out in more detail, pause it so you can copy it if you want to. And you'll see exactly the areas I don't go into in the 91 rated build in just a moment. That would be my preference though, which is why I didn't go for overalls because I went into things like free kicks, penalties, a little bit of curve as well. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why it's a little bit less overall. And with that, a few perks you could go. I'm not going to tell you the exact perks to go because, again, it's preference on how you play the game. I feel like Tireless Runner is a really good one to have. It grants a second wind and solid player trait. So if your player has run lots and lots during a game and has low stamina, that one should be good for getting stamina back before the next match, especially if you're playing weekend, midweek, weekend, and you've got three games in a week. It just makes sure your player has stamina to play with in the matches. There's a couple of times in this year's My Player Career Mode where I'm running out of stamina, so I am trying to unlock this on the series. I've then gone with the Poacher, which is boost shooting from inside the box. Self-explanatory, as a striker, you're going to be getting into the box, and it is a really, really good one to have. And then this one, it's up to you. I went Hot Streak, which shooting attributes boosted for a short time, 15 minutes after you score a goal, grants you the finesse shot, outside foot shot, and power header traits, and increases your weak foot ability by how much? I don't know. I don't know if it's just one star added onto your weak foot or if it goes to five. Not sure. But yeah, that's what I went with. You can choose your own here. But I do recommend Tireless Runner and probably Poacher. And then it's essentially your choice for the third one. See how you get on with that. But that is the 96 rated build. Now the one that I need to talk more about, which is my personal preference build, which is the 91 rated one. So let's get into that one. So, you'll notice a difference in where I put my skill points for this one. Physical, 14 out of 23 unlocked, so not maxed. Dribbling, 20 out of 26 unlocked, not maxed. 6 out of 27 for passing, we had 0 in the 96 rated build. 37 out of 44 for shooting, and 8 out of 8 for pace. Giving us 83 physical, 35 defending, 93 dribbling, 57 passing, 97 shooting, and 94 pace. So let's look then in more detail at where the points have gone. For the physical area, we avoided these reaction ones. I don't know what was the best ones to go into here in terms of overall, but this build wasn't too much about overall. So it was just about trying to work out what I could use my points on. We managed to get the bull archetype, which gives us strength and aggression. I feel like as well, by putting them in this sort of area, We've actually well-rounded our stats. I mean, you can see we're 79 jumping, 85 stamina, 82 strength, 81 reactions, and 83 aggression. So well-rounded there. That's what I went with. You could probably play around with this. You don't even really have to go into this if it's your preference and you could put these somewhere else. This is what I went for the physical side, though. The real changes come into the shooting skill tree, really, for this one. And as I say previous, that's because I wanted the free kick accuracy and the penalties. So that's the physicals. Uh, I'll move on from this. We don't have the acrobat art type in this one. The dribbling one, I did say these two attack positions are not necessary for you to get maestro archetype. I don't have them as part of this build. The only reason I have these ones is because they do give me the agility and they do give me the balance. You'll notice only one into the dribbling, which overall gives us 88 agility, 89 balance, 84 attack position, 100 ball control, but 99 in reality. I could arguably take a point out here and go down to 96, but there wasn't really anywhere else to put the point, I don't think. To be honest, not really. Uh, we don't need 99 penalties, so I just left it into the uh, ball control to essentially get to 99. So that's how it is. Maestro archetype and the Lynx archetype. Missing ones here, the skill move and the two uh, attack positions. So we saved ourselves essentially eight points by not going into these, which have been used elsewhere. Hence why I didn't use them. Passing. I said I put a little bit of points into this. Really, it was for curve. Because free kick, curves, I just thought it might help me with the free kicks. So we went into this one here, which is crossing, unlocking the curve, and then down into crossing again so we could get the artist archetype to enhance the curve further. And then curve and vision over there. So every single one apart from this one for curve, we went into. And that is it for the passing. Now, the shooting one. You'll see the left-hand side of this skill tree 
is more filled out than the 96 rated one because we have gone into the free kick accuracy and we have gone for the sniper archetype. Everything on the right hand side, the exact same. So there is no changes there, but this gives us 99 finishing, 94 free kick accuracy, 98 heading, I believe, or 95 heading, I should say, sorry. 99 shot power, 96 long shots, 99 volleys, 94 penalties. And I do want to take free kicks and penalties, which is why I went in to the shooting skill tree here if I was a striker and the pace as well, completely maxed out. As I've said, this is my personal preference. You do not have to agree with me on what you would do. You can change this around however you want to play the game. This one was not about overalls. It's just what I would do if I was playing as a striker. I like taking the free kicks. I like taking the penalties. So that's why I went into those. I didn't feel it necessary for me to really go into the physical skill tree as much, although it does have an impact on overall. Again, for perks, your choice. I ran the exact same three. Tyler Runner, Poacher, Hot Streak. So... That is my perk setup. All in all, that's a lot of information I've thrown at you, but hopefully it's been helpful. I don't think there's anything else to show you in terms of that. So I think that is pretty much the end of this video. If you do want to leave me a comment with more positions you want to see for some builds on, please do down below in the comments section. I will try and get around to completing some more of these videos. I know how well you enjoyed them last year, so I will do my best to come up with some good builds this year as well. Let me know how you get on with both of these builds or just the max overall one and see if you can grow it any higher than 96. I'm intrigued to find out. But until next time, stay safe, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great evening. If you are new around here and like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. Until next time, look after each other and take care, everyone. I'll be back with a brand new video very, very soon. Adios.